So I've had a lot of people ask me what my apartment looks like and what they provide me with. So here is the grand tour. When I get out, I push this button, it unlocks it, and then I leave. And this is where I put in the code in order to get in and out of the apartment. This is the entrance. You come in, you take your shoes off there. My shoes are in here. And you walk right into the kitchen. They have some plates um, and cups for me already, some utensils to use, and some pots and pans down there. And then they have this little section right here that allows me to um, close the door if I do want to separate it from my room, but I don't have to, and I like it pretty open anyways. Here is my bathroom, typically it's pretty standard. Um, the shower is combined with the bathroom. I've seen this um, in other places before, so I wasn't so shocked to see it. I don't know if you're watching this video, if that's something new to you, but that definitely is a thing. And here's my room. It's pretty big. Um, definitely more than enough space I have to move around. They have this little extra lounge chair in here. And they also provide me with a washer, which is in this little separate room that I can also separate as well. And that is, I normally do close this one. So there you go. And that's my room. Um, it was pretty easy to get settled in. I really liked everything. It's basically provided with everything. Oh, I didn't let you know that they provided me with some Korean snacks and fruit as well as some drinks. They gave me some water, some juice, some milk, and also some apples that I'm holding one right now because I got a little hungry, <laughs> which I just thought was really nice. Um, that Korean hospitality, man, it's really good. I feel pretty okay so far. Um, I'm really excited now that it's actually, you know, in motion. The person that picked me up uh, is really nice and he, you know, helped me carry my bags in, almost refused to let me uh, carry my own bags in. As for getting here, I came here at nighttime, so looking out the window, I wanted to see things, but I really couldn't see as much as I wanted to. Um, the streets are very, very light and bright. Um, there are a lot of things that I can't read and understand, so that was kind of crazy. That will be a challenge, I already know. I'm glad that I have FaceTime and texting where I'm still able to talk to friends and family that are back home, close to, close to me, um, you know who you are. And yeah, I, so far I feel okay. It's, I did try to go out earlier today. Um, I just thought, hey, I could go and get a meal. And some places do have English writing on them. Um, but I didn't want to stray too far away from my apartment just in case I got lost. I'm not completely sure about the area yet. I don't know what everything looks like. And they chose this place next to me. I thought maybe they would have a menu with pictures so I could just point to the picture. Um, but they did not have that. So <laughs> that was kind of an awkward experience. Um, told them, hey, I'm just going to sit here and have this cup of tea and then I'll leave. Um, and I don't think that they wanted to charge me for the tea. It's kind of like giving you a glass of water and you leaving after it. But I just, you know, I gave them 2,000 Korean won, which is equal to $1.80 or $2 um, US dollars. And then I left. <laughs> that was a little awkward, but at the same time, what can I, you know, I figured I'm assuming that I can ask the other teachers um, what they do or how they adapted once I get there. So let me know if I missed anything else. If you have any more questions, I will answer them as quickly as possible. I'll try to make this video or these videos normally um, shorter and 
descriptive and I want these videos to help you as much as they are helping me with my journey.